Uh, let me just say it's amazing how uh, things just never work out how you want them to the first time around. That's all right. Okay, so the settings here, they're talking about um, the control scheme, uh, as in Hyrule uh, Dynasty Warriors or Zelda controls. Um, I've only played this like once or twice, so I don't really know too much of a difference, but uh, I'm just going to play it on what it has. Alright, game updates, all that good jazz. I haven't really touched this yet, as you can see. I, uh, I played through maybe the, the first part, of course, and I uh, just decided to start over. There's a lot of movement in the background there, man. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, here we go. I'm gonna hop right into this, press any button, boobity babbity boo. Alright. So, all this is uh, locked. You got legend mode. That's just a story. We're going to hop right into this. And I'm not going to talk too much through the cutscenes. But uh, I just want to say, look at these graphics. That is beautiful. And this is some Legend of the Seven Stars type stuff right here. Zelda, you're a princess. You shouldn't be uh, standing out in fields by yourself or stuff like that might happen. I don't think you can speed through a uh, dialogue like that. I guess it's kind of stuck like this. Moving at this pace, I mean. I mean, the dialogue is kind of red, too, so I mean, I guess I can talk through that, too. Um, unless it's distracting to your reading, but I guess you can just pause it. Or maybe I should read the dialogue. I don't know. That might be annoying to people, too. Hey, look at that. That soldier's not wearing a helmet. He's endangering his life. <laughs> and see, that's exactly why you wear a helmet. What if he had done that to you? You'd probably be dead. You wouldn't get to stare into the princess's eyes like that. Alright, sounds like stuff is, uh picking up right now. Cutscene wasn't too long. We already got some action going on. Alright. Aw, oh, man. That, uh, that looks like a mess. You gonna be able to handle that? I don't think three people can do that. Not by themselves, anyway. Do I just not have a text box? That's great. Maybe my guy's just uh, a little self-centered. Doesn't uh, care for talking to the public. Because he's uh, high and uppity like that. Alright, so... Um, I mentioned it already, I don't know if, like, somebody just doesn't know themselves, which is kind of silly if they don't. This is a, uh, Dynasty Warriors, uh, spin-off, or a Zelda spin-off, or both, whichever comes first. And, uh, so it's gonna play like Dynasty Warriors, and, uh, that's why they were asking about the controls. I don't know the difference, as I said before, and I'm probably not even going to test them out. Let's let's be honest there. <laughs> we really don't care that much, do we? I know I don't. <clears throat> okay. So the thing about Dynasty Warriors is... You're one man taking on an army of thousands, and you just look really awesome doing it. Uh, very over the top, very like over-action-y, and 
none of these guys ever stand a chance. It's really sad, but it's very entertaining to watch. And the gameplay gets a little redundant, but, uh, you know, if you can bear through it, then, you know, it's good for you. <laughs> So, apparently Link can't talk for himself, so we have ourselves a fairy with a very generic name, Proxy. Proxy's going to be our dialogue box, because Link doesn't talk for himself, and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't need it. <laughs> That's entertaining enough. We'll have Proxy do the talking. That's, that's fair. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this guy over here, and then uh, I'm going to figure out what I need to do. I, uh, there's a lot going on on the screen at all times, so I, I get lost rather easy. Okay. Advance toward abandoned fort. Uh, I guess that was straight ahead. I guess I should have just bared with it a little longer. But that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. So, like I said, I haven't played this a whole lot. This is going to be a blind playthrough, basically. Um, I know a little bit of what's going on, but not a whole, whole lot. And, uh... Oh, look! Dragon! And the guy who's wearing the dragon's face. Um, a lot of this is a throwback. Let me turn that down. A lot of this is a throwback to all the Zelda games, or enough of the Zelda games to have, you know my nerd sense is tingling. <laughs> uh, a lot happens that's just like really entertaining to me and I'm like oh my goodness just I love the music, I love the love the characters. Oh man this guy's this guy was getting his butt kicked yet Link is out of breath. What's going on here? What's that? What's he gonna do? I guess I lost. Alright, so she's gonna get in the way. I guess we're playing as her now? No, I know we're not playing as her now. Enjoy your shared grave. What's he gonna do? We still don't know. This guy is hecka tough, apparently, even though I was trashing him. And it looks like we're dead. Okay, game over, guys. See you again next week. I guess I was wrong, we're not dead. He ran away. He was scared by my glowing hands. Alright, so you pummel enough enemies, uh, you fill up a little gauge at the top, and you push A. And it allows stuff like that to happen. Once again, very over the top, very entertaining to watch. It's, uh. This is gonna be a long playthrough, I can tell. <laughs> so, um, I have done other walkthroughs in the past if you're, like, somehow just getting to me. Um, and a lot of the time, they're not finished. I just have stocked up footage on my computer. But, uh,. I intend for this to be my first finished. I, that's that's my new goal. I have uh, I have goals for this game that I'm not too proud about, but I intend to fulfill those goals as I go through this title. And now, uh, more about that when it happens. You'll see the horrible stuff I have to go through. But I'm willing to do it just for, uh, just for YouTube's sake. You're doing video game videos, they've got to be a virtual tutorial. Um, I don't do proper playthroughs, I feel, so... May as well, you know, fake it. And there we go, bombs! All of that, over-the-top opening boxes for a couple of bombs. And it looks like we're locked in, but, you know, we just got some bombs. Why do, why, why do we care? Isn't that what, like, dynamite was invented for? Blowing away mountainsides? Not a problem. 
Okay, so bombs are an item attached, uh, just like the potion, I guess, that was there already. Uh, you can use it by pushing ZR. Um, you can also use it for combat. <laughs> it's really funny to watch, because uh, a lot of these people just want to stand there for no reason while you bomb them. Although it doesn't look like it does that much damage. So, it, it might be a little smarter to just stick with hacking and slashing. Alright, that guy's on my side. I got scared for a second. Um, let me pick up some of this stuff. This over here fills up another gauge. When that fills up, I'll, uh, I'll promptly prompt you through that. Explain what's going on. Uh, these jars over here, smash them, stuff comes out, that's pretty neat. Yes, 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 money, yes. And uh, over there are some bombs, uh, some rocks, to be bombed, sorry. Why are you just, uh, just standing there, Impa? What, 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 what you doing? Don't wait on me. Alright, nice. Going well so far. I haven't counted how much damage I took, but I, I clearly picked up some bottles to cover that up. Uh, hearts, I mean. Ugh. Already trashed my own dialogue. Alright. <clears throat> well, you never see rock, just smash it. It's just stuff to be gained, so why not, right? <laughs> So first coming into this, I wasn't quite sure what you're supposed to do with these spots in the castles. You're just supposed to uh, beat away at um, the enemies until the keep boss shows up. The keep boss is the guy who you take down and you eventually take over the keep. I had no idea what any of that was because, hey, this is my first Dynasty Warriors game. I have seen other titles like Pirate Warriors, but... I still didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> and that's the keep boss, he wasn't much. And now this keep is captured. It's the same for little outposts or whatever they're called. They're little spawn points. You uh, you take care of the outpost captain and it's captured. It is no longer a spawn point for the enemy either, so... You find yourself at an advantage of people, at least. Hey, Zelda. You! I saw you in the training yard! Yeah, I saw you, too. Maybe it's because I wasn't wearing a helmet. Putting my own life in danger. I'm still not wearing proper armor, and we got all these soldiers over here. But hey, isn't that like one of those laws of, like, RPGs or anime or whatever? The less armor you wear, the safer you are. That's how it works, right? The, you're not in any danger not wearing any armor. It, it makes perfect sense. Look, I'll just keep my head unprotected. I won't carry a big shield like these guys. It's cool, it's cool. Okay, I explained capturing keeps already. I, I'm going to skip through that. Um, there's a lot of tutorials at the beginning of this. Um, mostly dialogue boxes. I may speed through them and uh, you can just pause to read it, but uh, since I haven't played this too long myself, I'm probably gonna read them and just speed through uh, speed through my reading. Just, uh, just to make things go faster. Alright. Capture a central keep and east field keep. I don't know which one those are. Oh, mission successful. Okay, I guess I did it already. These guys are chumps here, too. It's all the same. Dead, don't bother me. Just leave me be. I'm gonna do what I do. <laughs> 